Number 15, this is 1966 Washington Quarter, which struck in viral verse. This rare error coin was graded as AU58 by PCGS. A sick wire is struck into the obverse of C's borderline on circulated 1966 quarter. Unlike most wire strike throughs, the wire is retained and remains in the coin with the high points level with obverse surface. The wire is close to a horseshoe shape, but its southeastern leg is longer than the northwest leg. The strike through alloy is apparently dominated by iron since it attracts a magnet. The rim is variable in width and widest at 3 o'clock on the reverse. Despite brief circulation, the coin retains considerable luster along with a hint of golden toning. It was sold for $1080. Number 14, here is 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent in brown circulated condition, graded as extremely fine 45 by NGC. For generations of American coin collectors, this issue has been the coins highest on their want lists. It has the lowest mintage of any Lincoln Cent issued for circulation and examples were rarely found in change. Had this low figure occurred a few years into the series instead of at the very beginning, Examples would be truly rare in mint state. As it is, many were saved at the time of issue because of the controversial initials VDB. The public assumed incorrectly that this variety would be withdrawn. The narrow spread over so many grades confirms that there is little difference in rarity below the gem level. Whatever the fact, the appeal of these issues is undeniable and no collection of Lincoln cents is complete without it. This brown specimen was sold for $1,320 in July 2023. Number 13, here is 1924 D. Lincoln Center 65 brown condition. According to NGC, the Denver Mint had not coined cents since the small production of early 1922, and demand for additional pieces returned very slowly to the region it served. Denver coined for nation's breadbasket, states and american farmers were in distressed conditions throughout the decade most 1924 d cents were poorly struck from quite worn dyes fully red gems are very elusive and mint state coins in any grade are in constant demand this elusive ms specimen ended up selling for 2640 dollars in july 2023 Number 12, 2000 P. Sacagawea Chirius dollar in MS66 condition, a premium gem example of one of the most fascinating and rare modern varieties in existence. This frosted piece has surfaces free of spots, toning, or handling. Early in 2000, the general meal makers of Chirius breakfast cereal, coupled with US Mint, to place new Sacagawea dollars in boxes of cereal and heighten the nation's awareness of the coin. Some 10 million boxes of Cheerios were part of promotion, each containing a new limited Lincoln scent. Another 5,500 boxes also contained the 2000 dated Sacagawea dollar. The Cheerios dollar had a different reverse dye than the regular circulation strikes with eagle's tail pieces on the reverse, enhanced in their detail. This highly sought after specimen was sold for $2,160. Number 11, moving on with this 1930 Mercury Diamond Mint State 67 was full bands. This was the first year in which coin mintage reflected the Great Depression, which had actually begun in 1929. Economic activity showed to the point that demand for additional coins plummeted. 1930p dimes have a relatively low mintage for a Philadelphia issue, but they are only slightly more scarce than preceding dates. Examples are available through the lower grades of mint state, and even gems are not truly rare. A fair percentage of these may be found well struck and with full bands. These full band specimen was sold for $2,520 on August 8, 2023. Number 10. This is 1943 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS61 condition. An error coin struck on steel sand planchet. Heritage auction archives show about two dozen prior appearances of 1943s nickels on steel sand blanks or planchets. Most are lightly circulated despite their partial peripheral legends and unusual powdery silver appearance. 
The off-metal error is rare since steel sands were only struck in 1943 aside from 1944 transitional alloy errors. This example has a full date that shows only moderate distortion. The San Francisco mint mark is bold. A gray oxidized area is noted above the left wing of Monticello. It was sold for $2,880. Number 9, 1984 Lincoln set was double diverse, graded as MS68 plus wet by PCGS. According to Jaime Hernandez, the 1984 double diverse Lincoln set is considered a major variety in Lincoln set series, as the doubling can be easily seen with the naked eye. The variety was discovered in the same year in which the coins were struck. There are possibly several thousand examples in existence in all grades combined. This DDO specimen is glowing with peach orange luster on immaculate surfaces and it was sold for $4,612.50 with buyer's fee. Number 8, 1939 D Oregon half dollar in MS68 condition. CAC endorsed superb gem. The 3004 piece mintage marks the final year of this popular classic commemorative. Vibrantly rich orange and deep brown toning accents and margins surrounding the lightly toned central motifs. This coin joins other PCGS graded 1939D organ frail halves. At the top of the grading scale, surpassed only by 8 pieces in 68 plus. Sold on August 7, 2023 for $7,500. Number 7, 1952 S. Roosevelt Diamond MS68 Plus condition with attractive toning. A 1952 S. Roosevelt Diamond MS68 Plus condition can be considered both rare and valuable, especially due to its high grade and the scarcity of coins in such pristine condition. The S mint mark indicates that the coin was minted at the San Francisco Mint. While the 1952 S. Roosevelt Diamond is not considered one of the absolute rarest dates in the series, finding it in MS68 plus condition is quite unusual. Most coins from that era, even in uncirculated condition, tend to exhibit some minor imperfections due to the production process and subsequent handling. This specimen was sold for $8,831.25 with buyer's fee. Number 6, 1965 Washington quarter struck on a silver planchette, highly elusive error quarter dollar, graded in mean state 62 by PCGS. A transitional error struck on a leftover silver planchette from 1964. Errors of this type are rare. This piece is satiny with ivory white luster and minimal abrasions for the grade. Slight strike softness is seen on the finer details of Washington's portrait. It was sold for $16,800. Number 5, this is 1990, no S. Lincoln sent in PR69 red ultra cameo condition. Marvelous cameo effect between the fields and devices gives this fully mint red coin exquisite eye appeal. According to Stax Bowers, from one of only about 3500 no S. proof sets, minted with an unknown quantity known to exist. This true rarity ended up selling for $17,250. Number 4, 1925 S. Lincoln sent in MS64 plus red condition. This impressive near gem is as well produced and carefully preserved as any 1925 S. sent that have handled in recent memory. The overall definition is quite sharp in fact and the surfaces are of further note given the full endowment of bold rose orange luster that they possess. It was sold for $18,212.50. Number 5, 1959 Lincoln sent in PR69 deep cameo condition. This virtually pristine beauty really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Bright vivid surfaces possess full mint color in deep orange. The devices are sharply struck and possess a soft satin texture that contrasts markedly with deep reflectivity in the fields. Both sides are pristine in appearance as befits a sign grade and will please even the most discerning numismatists. It was sold for $19,200. Number 2, 
This lot includes two error coins, mated error pair. Coin number one is 1974 ascent struck on 1973 Panama Tens Balboa. Coin number two is a 1974 penny with reverse brokerage. Mint struck coins for Panama during 1973, including Tens Balboa struck on Clad Roosevelt time planchets. The San Francisco mint struck Lincoln cents for commerce during 1974. Unlikely, as it may seem, it appears that the Lincoln cent die pair consists of two 1974 obverse dies and struck Tens Balboa was fed between those two obverse dies along with a normal scent planchet. The Tens Balboa and scent planchet were stacked on the top of each other, with the reverse of the Tens Balboa facing one of the obverse dies. The strike pushed the Tens Balboa obverse into the reverse of the scent planchet, creating a brocade, an enclosed and reversed image of Tens Balboa obverse. This error pair was sold for $21,600. Number one, here is Vivid Litton 1949 Washington Quarter. Then I'm a 68 condition, CAC Pro and Wonderful Gem. Way with rainbow hues that blanket the obverse, a 10 out of 10 on a color scale. Aside from the superb aesthetic quality, these coins' technical qualities are all there and then some. There are zero perceptible contact marks anywhere to be found, even with glass. As you rotate the satiny lustrous surfaces, the blues, golds, reds, oranges, greens bloom into the light. The eye appeal is beyond imagination, and it ended up selling for $43,475. Thanks for watching this video. Keep following us on YouTube, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons before you move with another video. Have a good one.